Oh, well, uh, I did it. First of all, my next book is to be called, um, this is a plug, A Magician in the Laboratory. And uh, I'm working on that currently right now. And uh, it's more or less autobiographical because so much of my life has been spent running around the world and uh, sitting around in laboratories and watching, in many cases, watching scientists made, make total fools of themselves. But uh, I forgive them for that. They're just not informed. I try to inform them and such. And I thought, well, hey, before I publish the book, I should really come out and, and say to people, yes, I'm gay. I've been gay all of my life. I don't have any problem with that whatsoever. The point that I came out so late in life uh, is, is only due to the fact that I never got around to it. All my friends and family have always known, all of my, my office people and such have always known about this. <clears throat> I've never made any refusal to, to discuss it. And if anyone has ever asked, I've said quite frankly, yes, that's the situation. And for 25 years now, I've had a faithful companion and uh, we get along just fine. We're, we're very attached to one another. I'm very happy in that relationship. And um, it doesn't enter into my work at all, though. The public reaction has been wonderful. I, I anticipated that it would be, frankly. But it's been much more, much better than I even dreamed it could be. I'm still getting emails uh, months after this happened. I'm still getting email. Uh, from people who say, oh, I just found out about so-and-so and everything. Bang on, that's the way to go. And these are people who can or, or uh, cannot be gay one way or the other. It doesn't make any difference. They all accept it. And a couple of sour grapes out there, but uh, I can ignore them safely. But a very, very small minority. People have understood. And we are in an enlightened age. Now, when I was a teenager, oh, that would have been the last thing I could possibly have done. I would have gotten stoned. I would get beaten up every day, I'm sure, by the kids at school. But uh, not anymore. That, that day, I hope, is past. As I, not only that, in that respect, as a matter of fact, I found one thing that I did not uh, anticipate. I'm getting a lot of uh, correspondence from young gay people who say that I've served as, a, as an example of how it can be done and they've determined that they're going to do it too. And that's very encouraging. I think that uh, that relieves them of a bit of a burden. You feel uh, somewhat freed up. Now, I didn't notice the difference at all because I've been out all of my life, if anyone asked. That's all there is to it. And nobody ever, well, some people did ask uh, or sort of hinted at it. And I would come out with it right away. I had no problem with that. I still have no problem with it whatsoever. Here I am. And people often say, oh, but you keep on, you named your car Sophia after Sophia Loren, a little blue Miata, beautiful little jobby. And uh, they said, well, you keep on talking about Sophia Loren. And I say, yes, you say, I'm gay, but I'm not blind after all. You know, that, that, is, that is not oil of Olay that Sophia uses. Mm -hmm.